Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to show you how to find the inverse of a two by two matrix. Now there's two different methods on how to do that. Actually, there's more than two methods, but two basic methods that we typically use. This method here is only good for a two by two matrix. The other method, which I will show you in the next video, is a more general method that can be used for any dimension matrix, three by three, four by four, five by five. Of course, it just takes a little bit longer for the bigger matrices. But this one is kind of a really handy, quick method to find the inverse of a two by two matrix. And let me show you how that works. So let's say we have a matrix A, which has the elements A, B, C, and D. Then the inverse of the matrix is equal to one over D, that D is the determinant, and we'll show you in a moment what that is, times the elements, and the elements have changed a little bit. Notice how A and D have been interchanged. So D moves up here, A moves down here, and B and C stays where they are, but they're now becoming the opposite sign. So if B was a negative, it will become positive. And since this, if B was a positive, it will become negative. Same with C. And the determinant is equal to the elements of the diagonal multiplied A times D and subtract when you multiply the reverse diagonal B and C. So the determinant is A times D minus B times C. And so therefore, the inverse of the matrix is equal to one over the determinant, which is AD minus BC, times the matrix. And the matrix then has A and D interchanged and B and C changed to the opposite sign. All right, you may say, wow, that's a little complicated. Actually, it's not. And let me show you the example. So here we have a matrix A with the elements 2, 1, 5, and 3, and we're trying to find the inverse of the matrix. Well, first of all, let's find the determinant. The determinant is equal to the product of these two elements, which is 2 times 3 minus the product of those two elements, which is 1 times 5. So in this case, that would be 6 minus 5, which is 1. Right, that makes it easy. Determinant of 1. All right. So now we can say that the inverse of the matrix is equal to one over the determinant times the elements that would be D and A interchanged and the elements B and C change the sign. So this is equal to one divided by one because in this case the determinant is one times, so instead of D down here, it goes up here. So the three goes up there and the two comes down here. So we have the three up there, the two down there. And the 1 and the 5 simply change the sign. So it becomes a minus 1 and a minus 5. And since the term is equal to 1, we multiply the whole matrix by 1. And we get this is equal to the matrix 3, negative 1, negative 5, and 2. All right. Now, just to make sure we did it correctly, what we could do is we could multiply the matrix times the inverse of the matrix. And we should get back the identity matrix. So let's try that. So A times A inverse should equal the identity matrix. So 2, 1, 5, and 3 are the elements of the matrix. And then 3, negative 1, negative 5, and 2 are the elements of the inverse of the matrix. So let's multiply it out. <clears throat> so here we get 2 times 3 is, is uh, 6, and 1 times the negative 5 is minus 5. 6 minus 5 gives me a 1. A 2 times a negative 1 is a negative 2, and a 1 times 2 is a positive 2. Negative 2 plus 2 gives me a 0. We multiply this row times this column. We get 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 times a negative 5 is a minus 15, plus 15 minus 15 gives me 0. And finally, I have this row times this column. So 5 times a negative 1 is a negative 5. 3 times 2 is a positive 6. Negative 5 plus 6 gives me a positive 1. There's the identity matrix that shows us that this is the inverse of the matrix A. And that's how we use this very interesting, very quick method, because actually this can be done fairly quickly if you have a two by two matrix. Now, on the next video, I'll show you the more general way of finding the inverse of a matrix using a two by two, and then I'll show the same general technique for a three by three as well. And that's how we do that. 